G'day, this is a pretty quick video for episode 2 of Digital Painting and Photoshop for HowToDigitalPaint.com. My name's Cam. This video is basically about organizing a workspace because you don't want things to be in the, the right place and you want an efficient and organized workspace just to make things easier and make you a more efficient artist. So. You can see my workspace, I've got things such as the navigator window and these layers thing, layers palette and color. I will be explaining these different palettes more in depth in future videos, but for now I'll just explain how you actually get these and place them where you want. So we can just drag them, clicking on here, you can drag them in and out into the different panels and you find these different different palettes within window and you see all these here so things like info and other other such things and once you have that all set up you can click here and new workspace and then just save it with whatever name you want and then you can save your keyboard shortcuts and menus. There are there are a lot of built-in workspaces such as painting, which is pretty good. It's got what you need really in regards to painting. So you might want to start out with one of these and then see what you like and don't like and then just customize it to your liking. So that's it for that briefly. Now, keyboard shortcuts, these are good. You're going to be using these a lot, hopefully. It'll speed things up. So to get to that, we got to edit, keyboard shortcuts. And see, we can change the hotkeys for different tools, such as... Uh, you can change the brush. You might want to make it a different thing from B. And then you can then complement these shortcuts to coincide with your tablet. So if you saw episode one, we were setting up hotkeys on the tablet. So you can get these to communicate with each other. We can also set up other important functions within this tab, so application menus. And these are relevant to the different functions we find in in these menus here along here so an important one that I use a lot uh, this is a suggestion and it adds an example we've gone into image and we can go to image rotation and flip canvas horizontal I tend to do this a lot because it does kind of reset your eyes onto the image you're looking at especially if you're spending hours on a painting it is it is a good tip to constantly flip back and forth horizontal and many mistakes and things you didn't really notice before will, will jump out. It's just a bit of a mind trick. So that's it for there. Then we can save these shortcuts by clicking on this here and then just give it the appropriate name. And that's it for that briefly. Now performance settings. We find that in edit, preferences, performance. Now these these are pretty important because you obviously want things to be fast and as least laggy as possible so we can change the amount of RAM that Photoshop uses and set up scratch disks and if you have a, a decent video card that will be compatible with Photoshop then you can enable OpenGL settings, uh, sorry, OpenGL drawing, enable OpenGL drawing, sorry, <laughs> it's getting late, anyway, um, and that will help things such as the, the screen draw and smoothness of the interface when zooming in and out, different things like that, and will improve the memory usage of Photoshop to help speed things up and we can change 
things like how many undo levels you have. So that's it for that. And windows and palettes, I already discussed that really, just basically, so we can move these around. And you'll find a lot of these palettes do have extra functions by clicking on these little sub menus. And you'll discover these different sub menus on for the different palettes. So just customize that as you want. And you'll really develop um, the workspace as you go, as you learn. And you get more refined in your workflow. And you'll learn in the next coming videos the different important things you might want to use for these different palettes so you're going to have change your workspace appropriately and that's it for that video uh, look out for the next few episodes to come I'm making tutorials uh, five days a week so the yeah, next episodes will be coming up in the next few days that that concludes that video thanks for watching and check out the blog howdigitalpaint.com thanks